especially in the suburbs, some of us are starting out with temperatures in the single numbers. Yeah, it is bitterly cold out there right now, and that cold start is going to set the stage for some snow this afternoon. Cloud cover will increase quickly today, and then those snow showers develop in the afternoon. More snow to the south of the city. It clears out later this evening, and then we will finally see a milder trend for the weekend. Right now, it is only 15 degrees in Melville and Farmingville. East of Target right now at 20. It's also 20 degrees right now, or 21 in the city. But look at that, it's 5 in Monticello, Sussex at 6, it's 10 in Bridgewater and Poughkeepsie. A very cold start to the day, but we're completely dry. Clear skies out there right now. Storm Tracker Force Red Sweep, most powerful and precise radar. Doesn't have anything to show us at the moment, but it will this afternoon, and it's because of this clipper system that is quickly going to approach from the Great Lakes state. So we'll see that here on Future Tracker. Lots of cloud cover building in by noon, but we're still dry. 3 p.m., that snow quickly develops, and notice how it's snowing throughout almost the entire tri-state. However, the heavier snow will be confined to areas south and east of the city. That means Long Island. That also means the Jersey Shore. That's where you're going to see the heaviest snow accumulation from the system. By 6 o'clock, it's still snowing, but it's starting to taper off, and then we'll clear things out tonight. We're only going to see about an inch of snow from this system for the vast majority of the area. But a high of only 30 degrees, so that snow is going to stick. It's going to be light and powdery snow, just like yesterday morning, where you can just kind of brush it away with the broom. You don't need the shovel for this system. Tonight, very cold again, down to 18 in Andover, 15 in Monticello, 20 in Flemington and White Plains, so not quite as cold as it is right now, but still awfully chilly out there. This weekend, looking better, though. That breeze is going to be out of the south on Saturday. That's going to help the chill to subside. And we're finally back to 40 degrees on Sunday. In the exclusive 10-day forecast, it gets even milder than that. By Tuesday, we have a chance for rain, but a high near 50. And we don't have any more bone-chilling cold in that 10-day forecast once we get past this weekend. All right, that is the exclusive 10-day forecast.